Good morning, Daniel O'Donnell. How are you doing? Nice to see you all. How are you doing? We're good. We know that every single time you have to talk to us on Zoom, I remember this in six o'clock show, you hate setting up the camera. You're like, ah, oh, this blasted oh, thing. Well, you see, I suppose people that are good at all this, they have all the equipment and have the wee thing to put it sitting on. And I'm here on the windowsill with a bag, trying to put the bag up to put the camera against it. And then we're in a hotel room and I look then I see Magella lying on the bed. I don't oh, think no. you can see her. And we, yeah. we saw Magella lying in the bed, Daniel. Magella just, pop, <laughs> Magella just popped up oh, a second ago oh. as we were getting the camera shot ready and she was like, oh, for God's sake, he's on the telly again. Oh, Another show on the road like us, I'll tell you. So are you managing to relax? I believe you're in Dublin at the moment. Or Belfast, Belfast yeah. sorry. No, Belfast we are. We're, we're here in Belfast. We just came up here last night. We were, we were at Letter Kenny yesterday and the day before for Relay for Life, Donegal. Uh, so a big fundraiser for, for cancer charities. So that was on for 24 hours. So we're up here now. We have a few personal things we're going to be involved in here for a couple of days. And are you, so are you staying at home for a while? Because you had been over in uh, Tenerife and we're just wondering when is Daniel O'Donnell going to be stuck in Dublin Airport for seven hours queuing someday? Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm home now over the summer. I'll be home. Although now we are going away next week. We're going to Medjugorje for a weekend pilgrimage. So uh, I hope, hopefully the airport won't be too busy. Wow, yeah, well, fingers crossed it won't. Uh, pilgrimage, that's amazing. Say a prayer. Uh, can, I have to ask you, though, I mean... Like, we were just talking, your career spanned over four decades, Daniel. Like, do, do, you, have you, do you relax now? Because it sounds like you're just as busy as ever. Do you try and step back, or is it important just keep the foot on the pedal all the time? I know I have a good bit of time off. You know, we, we were off nearly all the early part of the year. And I don't start properly doing shows until August. I have a few things, obviously, that we're going to talk about. But we start in Killarney and the ANEC at the end of August. We have four shows there. And then we have a couple of shows in Derry. And um, then we're away to Canada and America. And I'm only doing shows up till the middle of November. And then I'm off more or less until next May again. So I take a good bit of time off. I'll be at the Dunlow Festival and uh, something in Dunlouis as well, uh, up at home. And Aaron Moore and Andrew Early's Bar, or Early's Bar in August. But um, I'm not doing as much, I suppose, a lot of the things I do outside the touring are, uh, you know, charity shows. Yeah, which has always been really important to you. When you just said your schedule, Tommy Bo was like, Oh my God, that sounds amazing. That sounds that's what you, that's exactly what you want to do. That's what we need. But I, Daniel, I, you know, I think an awful lot of people are mad to get to your gigs because obviously it's been so long and, you know, you have such a connection with your fans. And then, of course, you had the big birthday celebration. You turned 60. You didn't do much. You just had your very own Late Late Show special. So, you know, no not a big it? deal, really, is it? Well, you know, I suppose people are saying to me, did you do much for the for the birthday? I said, no, we didn't do a lot. And then I think, well, I was on television for an hour. So what more uh, or bigger way could you do it uh, than doing that? And it, it was lovely. It's lovely to have that look back on. Yeah. And they also, RTE and uh, BBC Northern Ireland put out a, a documentary on said Daniel at 60 and one of them and the other said the boy from Donegal. I think they're stretching the boy a bit now. But, um, or may maybe it was the man, I don't know, but I think they st stuck with boy. But um, lovely to have these things to look back on and the doc, you know, to have them documented. But, um, ach, listen, I'm very fortunate that I've been able to do what I'm doing for so long and very fortunate too that I'm able to pick and choose how I do it and where and what I do. So, you know, I couldn't complain. And, and spending time with the family is obviously a big part of that as well, Daniel. The likes of the grandkids. You know, to oh, be able sure to spend is. that time is so, it's, you know, it's special. It is, it's everything really. And I, we do get a lot of time with them. Um, in July now, I'm, I'm taking off for two weeks to Tenerife with them. And uh, this is their first time. Well, Olivia was there when she was small, you know, but. It's the first time they're, they're going to be there. Looking forward to the beach and all that kind of thing. It's going to be great. Yeah, and I love the way they call you're Gaga. Is that your, is that your name? 
Olivia, you know, called me Gaga from the very beginning, and there was no nobody told her to do that because it's not a very common, uh, you know, grandparent name. But the strangest thing all, of all is my father's mother. Um, all of the grandchildren called her Gaga. Right. That's very strange. Without Olivia having any, obviously, any yeah. knowledge of what she should call me, for her to call me that. And, you know, it's kind of affectionate too. And, of course, Archie does now too. Is there any performing um, or singing in them? No, no. Well, there's a fair performance, but I don't know, could you channel it onto the stage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, you're going to be in uh, Dublin's Pro Cathedral uh, for a gig. Again, giving your time uh, to charity, you'll be there with Linda Martin. Yes, we're there on uh, a week today, the 6th. Uh, it's, it's going to be an afternoon show because next Monday is a bank holiday. And when they were talking about doing the concert, I said, why don't we do it in the afternoon? So it's at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and the St Mary's Pro Cathedral, and looking forward to it. Um, I mean, it's always nice to be able to get the opportunity to do shows for any charities, and this one is for um, the Peter McVerry Trust, who does great work helping the homeless, and Linda's very involved in the Animal Sanctuary, so uh, both charities will benefit, and we're hoping that people will come out. I suppose, you know, we've been in for so long, it's hard to get into that frame of mind of going out to concerts and sitting beside people. But we have to go forward now and, you know, look look to the positive of having, please God, COVID mostly behind us. So we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be an inspirational show, um, you know, gospel songs and hymns and um there's going to be a gospel choir there. They'll be singing a bit. And Linda will join me in a couple of uh, songs too. So, um, as I said, hopefully people will come out to support these great charities. No doubt about it. Listen, Daniel, it, uh, I'd say, listen, people will be queuing up as much yeah. as they would be at Dublin Airport to get there to see a course. Well, it is on the 6th of June in Dublin's they can get Polk Theatre. From the they can get it from Procut, either uh, parish office, the tickets, or Eventbrite online. Uh, if people look up Eventbrite, they can book online. But the, the parish office has tickets too. Lovely. Well, and Daniel, we just want to apologise for making Magella move to the other side of the bed. <laughs> we know she was a bit annoyed with us. <laughs> but thank you. She wasn't annoyed at all. <laughs> Is she, are we forgiven? Oh, I'd say so. Yes. yes. Hi there. Oh. Is she there? Oh. Hi, Magella. <laughs> Morning. Sorry for waking you up so early. Oh, God, it's a safe. Oh, you're going to be... Sure, you'll start the day early. Why not? You're going to be in some trouble. <laughs> Daniel, get down there and get your breakfast in the hotel. <laughs> uh, Daniel O'Donnell, thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs>